In this demo, we're going to show you how to use the Boardwalk Enterprise blockchain application in order to manage a portfolio renewals application for an insurer. Now you'll notice that in this digital ledger view, we have information associated with capturing renewal information from a number of companies, across many different product lines, across multiple insurers, and with information indicating what the current premium is, the previous premium. You'll also notice that there's formulas involved to do calculations <coughs> to say what's the previous delta versus the current one, one of the start dates, um, and then also things like uh, conditional formatting that provides some indication of the user about is something overdue or has it not been completed. And you'll also know that there's blockchain information which captures the irrefutable state of the data as of any time. Now the beautiful thing about the Boardwalk Enterprise blockchain environment is that multiple people can interact with the data at the same time using an access control capability. And in this case, I'm logged in as the ACME user, so this is the actual insurer, and I'm seeing all of the data. But when I have an individual portfolio company interact with the data, I only want them to see their information. And that works very much like the auto filter command where only the data for that particular company is going to show up inside the workbook. Well, how does that work? Well, every company is provided a blank template. The blank template has everything in it that's needed. And then all you do is you log in. I'm going to select this portfolio company information. And when I log in, it checks to make sure that I have accessibility to the, the ledger. And when I say put in my credentials, it'll go to the, the server. It grabs that ledger information and it downloads it and brings it to the user's desktop. And then only the information that they're supposed to work with shows up. So in this case, you can see here that I only have access to portfolio company A. I don't have any other access. And it's not like it's hidden. It is literally not inside this file. So at this point, I can come in and I can say, uh, you know what, I'm going to change this renewal date to actually it's going to be 522. Um, and then I'm going to say, um, you know, updates. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to complete this one because this one's finished. And I'm just going to say done here. And um, also this premium is going to change a little bit. It's going to be um, 130000 And this is one of the advantages of working in this type of environment is you can work on multiple records, make all the changes that you want. And then when you're done, you say submit. And at this point, it looks at the data that's inside whatever user interface you're working with and it captures just the changes that have been done to each one of these portfolio company interactions. It pushes the information to the digital ledger, and then it creates an insert to the ledger with that information, and it also creates <coughs> a blockchain hash that's an irrefutable data store of the information that's been changed. So if you see <coughs> over here, you can see that the two rows that I changed have a new hash created for them which captures the information associated with those updates and makes it irrefutable from a data perspective. <clears throat> now this is only interacting inside of Excel. You can also interact inside of a browser. So in this case, I'm going to say, hey, I want to be able to log in as an insurer. <coughs> and the insurer only sees information associated with the uh, insurer clients. <coughs> so before I was only looking at different portfolios, but now I'm only looking at the data associated with Alliance. And I'm going to say, you know, this is an update and submit it. And I say my changes. <coughs> and now this information is going from a browser and also being pushed to the Boardwalk Digital Ledger. Now, if I go back to where I started to Acme and I say, hey, <coughs> I'd like to see what changes have been done by these other users. When I refresh this, <coughs> I see the changes come in from the ledger to this active workbook on my desktop, which is this Boardwalk virtual machine, and I'm able to see the changes that were done. So here is this, you know, here's the information that was done here, and you'll notice that <coughs> this data was updated by Alliance. Remember, I did this change, and then I also did a change here, <coughs> and I also changed the value over here. Now I can go in and I can say, I'd like to take a look at this particular cell and see how many changes have been done against this. <coughs> so by selecting any data element, you can say take this data element and show me the number of updates that have been done against this over time. And effectively what's in the background is that every change <coughs> that's done by every user, so I'm just going to go ahead and say take a look at the past week, is captured on the Boardwalk Digital Ledger and you're able to see <coughs> all the changes by different users and know exactly what they've changed. 
So in this case, <coughs> I'm seeing here that people added rows, um, or didn't actually add rows, they just add updated cells. But this is the ledger view of the data that <coughs> people have made changes with. And you're able to go back and say, I want to be able to look at any update as of any time. Now, in terms of blockchain, what I'm interested in doing is I'm interested in understanding <coughs> specifically which items have reached this completed state and only take a look at those in the blockchain digital ledger. So if I go back here and I log out <coughs> and I say now that I'm going to log in as the auditor and the auditor <coughs> says take a look at the information on the blockchain, then I can see here this is portfolio company A um, and it says uh, 13,000 <coughs> or 130,000 and if I want to verify that I can say select that row click on validate row and when I do it shows me that this information has not been altered so it's rerunning the hash and comparing it against the transactional data and verifying that this information is the same now let's say for example <coughs> that I wanted to be able to make an adjustment to this and say um, I'm only gonna you know make a change let me see which one this one this is so 2345 so I'm gonna go back and say this one's 2345 so I'm gonna switch this to be a hundred and thirty five thousand or you know thirteen hundred and fifty let's say for example and <coughs> now generally this would be locked down and you wouldn't be able to make this change but I want to show how you can verify the changes that have been done using the blockchain so in this case, I've made this modification. <coughs> I've gone in and I've submitted this to the database or to the ledger. And when I submit it to the ledger, this new data value is pushed. And um, you can see that a new hash was created. So now if I go back and I say, hey, let's refresh this and look at the most recent information. Now, if I come down here, you can see once again that this one is 1,350. But if I say, show me both of these so I can see which one's accurate and which one has been changed or not been changed. Well, first of all, it runs this one and it says, well, this is no longer a valid transaction. The only valid transaction is this last one, <coughs> which when I run this, it'll show me that this one's particularly green. But you can see now here, this is the previous one and this is saying this is now an invalid hash. The current state of the ledger that has this data value does not match this, so therefore, this hash is incorrect and you can see as an auditor that the information is not accurate and therefore you should not pay for for example or submit the uh, renewal against this particular property and this particular light item <coughs> all of this is being managed in the boardwalk digital ledger um, you have complete visibility and all the information uh, including a complete history of all the data plus you're able to run reports and understand how data has changed over time and push this out to other transactional systems and or other reporting environments all using the boardwalk enterprise block blockchain as the data environment where you're able to see what cell values have changed or what data values have been changed what the current information is and always make sure that everyone is up to date with the most recent information